kindly subscribe to our youtube channel to watch the full lecture hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's lecture let us start a new chapter that is introduction to gst this comes under economics of gst open elective subject now what is the meaning of gst gst is a value added tax means it is added to the value of the product next it is levied on goods and services the tax is charged on goods and services next it is levied on domestic consumption so when the consumption or the purchase of product is used or purchased for the domestic purposes then it is known as domestic consumption next this is the tax paid by the customers the ultimate customers who are going to enjoy the benefits of the product or who will be consume the product that such type of customers will be paying the tax then whatever the tax is paid it will be remitted to the government by the seller so whatever the tax the poor customer is paying all that will be remitted means it should be submitted to government by the seller next gst is a tax on goods and services sold domestically for consumption so it is levied on all those goods and services when it is domestically available or made for the consumption consume madade koskara yaa yaa product galna sale madirtaro aa ondu product gal mele gst anna apply martare next the tax is included in the final price so whatever the final price of the product is there on that final price the tax is levied and paid by the customers at the point of sale so it is laid on the final price a on the product in the final price en irutala a on the final price mele matra tax anna include martare matte tax na kattodu illi customer adna yaar consume martarala a on the customer adana pay martare at the point of sale and pass the government by the seller once the customer has paid the tax to the seller the seller will pass that to government next the gst is a common tax used in the majority of the countries globally in a globally with are many countries and most of the countries are using this type of gst tax halavaru countries galu ಈ ರೀತಿಯ ಒಂದು ಜಿ ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಬಳಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಜಿ ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಯೂಶಲಿ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಅ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ರೇಟ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಅ ನೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ದ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ರೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಡ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ದಿ ನೇಷನ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ದಿ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಫೇರ್ ಜಿ ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈಸ್ ಅ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸಸ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅವಾಯ್ಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪ್ರಿಫರಿಂಗ್ ಜಿ ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಓನ್ ದಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ so and the tax escapism some people will escape from paying the tax those things can be avoided government kadu kuda gst ge aadhyate anna nidtare yakendre idu ondu simple system agide matte yaar yaar tax kattale hage idralla antaru aa tara tax kattide irodike sadhya aagodilla hagagi government idna prefer martare next it is an indirect federal sales tax applied on the cost of certain goods and services as we have already seen it is applied on the cost of goods and services idana ondu product na cost en iradalla adr mele hakuvanta ondu tax gst is added to the price of the product and the customer who buys the product pays the sales price inclusive of gst so by chance the product value is 20 rupees and for that 5 rupees is the gst total the customer has to pay 25 rupees means he is paying the price also as well as the gst tax also so for example iga one product na value 20 rupees irutte adike tax gst na nam hakidre 5 rupees agutte gst so it what to est agutte adu 25 rupees agutte so ile customer yara product na buy maartanalla avanu price and 20 rupees plus 5 rupees gst total 25 rupees na pay maartane the gst portion collected by the seller and the businesses are forwarded to the government so whatever the gst portion they collect so whatever the tax they collect 
that will be finally forwarded to the government adanna avaru government ge pass maartare it is also referred as value added tax in some countries this gst is also called as a value added tax now what is this gst system it is a single tax rate is applicable throughout the country a single tax rate one day one single tax rate throughout the country same rate alle run agutte now before that we had some central tax and we also had state tax gst barokina munche central tax ittu mate state tax ittu central tax galalli sales excise duty service tax galalli ittu state tax galalli entertainment tax ittu entry tax ittu subsidy tax ittu now all these have been subsumed so all these have been converted and merged into single tax that is gst so now we are collecting all these tax as a one single tax that is gst france was the first country to implement gst in 1954 so the first gst was implemented in france france alli modlu gst na implement martare 1954 alli avaru gst anna implement martare then an estimated 140 countries have adopted this tax system in some form or another later on after that approximate 140 countries have adopted this gst tax system in some of the other forum for example in which countries gst we can find this canada we can find vietnam australia singapore united kingdom spain italy nigeria brazil and now we have even implemented in india in 2017 canada and brazil have dual gst structure so in canada and brazil countries we can see dual gst structure what is this dual gst structure means where federal gst is applied in addition to the sales state sales tax so they will apply state sales tax plus federal gst also and the dual gst and they know state idu one sales tax kuda hakkare matte federal gst enen iruttala adanu kuda hakkare for example the federal government levies 5% tax on some provinces or states and also levy a provincial state taxes which varies from 8 to 10% means first the federal government is putting 5% tax means the federal government 5% tax hakthare plus apart from that pst and the provision provincial state tax it may be 8% to 10% so idanna kuda hakthare so what happens a consumer receipt will clearly have gst and pst that was applied to that purchase value so here in consumer has to pay gst also as well as pst also in most provinces gst and pst have been combined into some uh, provinces into single tax known as harmonized sales tax so this gst as well as pst ee gst matte pst ne eradanna serisi avaru hst andre harmonized sales tax anta maadidare so this is all about the introduction to gst hope you have understood this video very well in my next video i will come back with the india adoption of gst means how india has adopted gst and what are the details about this hope you have understood this video very well if you have understood the video please put in the comment box that you have understood the video at the same time if you have not understood also please put your queries in the comment box so we'll be happy to help you out with all your queries i'll come back with our next video if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon so that whenever i'll upload new lectures it will automatically you'll get the notifications thank you if you have any queries regarding today's session kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast@gmail.com